if I clean out that ashtray, okay, there's a grate in the bottom. If I clean out that ashtray, it doesn't seal. The door doesn't seal real perfect on there. So the air comes up from that ashtray into the fire and it just roars for the first day, which is perfect considering it's 10 degrees outside. Thank you, whoever sent us this uh, ash bucket. It uh, worked perfect. The ash tray just went right in there. So now I don't have to walk back and forth with the ash tray in and out four times. I just dump it right in here and go dump it out in the out in the woods or on the gardens. So very nice. Thank you guys. I don't know who sent that, but thank you very much. guys just a few minutes in the sun it's already slushy very nice very nice I'm gonna drag a few things up here let's go it's kind of amazing how a little bit of sun and no wind can make it feel so much better out like I said, it's 10 to 15 degrees right now, and it doesn't feel bad at all. what uh, Santa got me for Christmas. There you go, what do you think? Yeah, Jen got me a 10 by 15 um, auto shelter by Shel Shelter Logic. This winter, what we're gonna do is set up a little workshop um, next to the cabin so we can use this and set up a table saw and set up a table and the saw horses and put some wood in there and uh, have all the, you know the chop saw and then we can do all our interior stuff but have a little shelter to uh, do all that in right next to the cabin so either I don't know exactly where we're going to put it but I'm just getting it up to the cabin right now
Here's what we got. Here's what we have. But all the drawers and the faces are wood. And then the back's particle board and the sides. But at least the faces are all hickory faces. They all got decent rollers, not soft clothes, but they have these little bumpers on them. So, empty all this out. All right, so what we're gonna have to do, guys, is make sure that these are all level and the faces are even. Like right now, these just need a little bit of straighten. The floor should be nice and flat here. Shouldn't need much shimming or any at all. I'm gonna make some trips back and forth to the shed. You don't need to see me grab tools, but I'll be back a little bit with some tools. guys I watched a little two minute video it said it's easier to do this with the doors off so I'm gonna take these doors off real quick which makes sense I didn't want to but all right like I said I bought these new at Lowe's these were all popping out when we got them here I, maybe because we jolted them around a lot but um, I just put a screw in here instead of the staples that they have these were popping out a little bit, so I banged those back in. Hopefully that doesn't mess up the runners. I mean, they're a little adjustable. You can move them in and out. It's pretty much level, guys. This is, I mean, it's just off like, it's off like a millimeter. So I'm not going to worry about a millimeter. I got all these uh, clamps that we used. We're going to use these to squeeze these together. And then put some screws together to them. Alright, so this is squeezed together now. We can connect. These is, this just pops in. So this is all lined up nice. I don't have fancy screws or fancy tools. We're using deck screws. All right. There we go. Do the same thing with the bottom. you could do this guys without these clamps so you better have a pair of these clamps if you're gonna do this struggling There we go. That made it nice and even. So. There we go. Pretty 
darn good. So, this will be nice. This will be lots of space. Um, if you didn't use the Lazy Susan, you had to have a dead cupboard. And I think that's kind of what they called it, too. I think they called it a dead corner or something like that, where that whole corner is dead space. I, mean, you could, I think you could shove stuff in there, but our problem was is the we were going to put a 30-inch stove here, and we weren't going to have any room to put a, if we just went straight to the wall. We would have dead space here. So I wanted to put Lady Susan so we could capitalize on space. There we go. Nice and level. A little nice and level. Pretty happy, guys. Pretty happy. So nothing fancy guys. Looks nice. I like it. There we go. Alright guys, we got the hickory faced cabinets installed. Now, the next step is I'm going to go down and get the secret surprise from down by the truck. Jenny had a community post, had a picture of the little snow sled with the uh, blanket covering something. I'm going to go get that right now and surprise you guys. What do you think it is? Make a comment in the comments below and no cheating and waiting until after I show you. <laughs> so let's go. is nasty out should have been up here all day yesterday it was beautiful the reveal here we go Whoosh. Here's our stove. 
What do you think? It's a 20 inch Detroit Jewel, 20 inches on the dot. That guy, that, that buys us a little extra space. Look at that. One little cabinet over there. You freaking living in luxury. Same thing with the grates. These need to be wire brushed. Look at that, guys. Holy cannoli. All right, guys, cool. Got the cabinets installed. I need a 12 inch. Now that we have this in here, I need a 12 inch cabinet. So I'm gonna go to town probably today. Either that or get the countertop on here, but I might as well go to town and grab the cabinets then I can do the countertop on top of everything and then I can get the hose line for this and get this hooked up looks pretty happy the one burner like I said I'm gonna put a look out for another one of these for cheap uh, this one burner right here is missing it doesn't hurt anything it's just gonna be left off I never use all four burners anyway but it would look nicer if there was a burner in there good stuff let's go I don't know. Let's go to town, I guess. All right, guys. I'm actually going to go to town. Before I do that, underneath the cabin, I threw that uh, old farm sink that I bought last fall. It's been sitting under there. I want to go grab that real quick and make sure the measurements are okay. At least it's nice and cold out, so everything's dry. big guys son of a gun that's too big I have to just get a single sink about this size I thought this was 36 inches not 42 oh well I always wanted one of these sinks but I'm not gonna it's not gonna be my whole countertop so plan B guess we'll look for a sink I'll sell that one Phew. All right, guys, back from town. I was there for two and a half. It takes about two and a half, three hours. Here's what I got. Got the final cabinet. Went with a 15-incher because all the, they had two 12-inchers and they were kind of beat up. There we go. Let's hope uh, getting the 15 inch one rather than the 12 inch one didn't bite me in the butt. I knew it would fit, but it was right next to the window. I think we're going to pull this out like an inch anyway, so we can trim behind it. Anyway, let's hope it doesn't bite me in the butt. Let's see how it looks. Let's see how it fits. be right next to the window here which like I said maybe I should have bought the 12 incher and there would have been a little space there but the 12 incher was so small it was pretty much worthless you couldn't even put a pot in the 12 incher so because it was 12 inch wide and the door was like eight or nine inches wide so so there you go I also picked up the propane line 
And the tape, this is uh, flexible. This isn't copper, obviously. It has a regulator with it and uh, all the connections to go right to the stove. And all I have to do is drill a hole through the floor and go from there. Some chicken guys, chicken and only chicken. There we go. Jason's trying to be good this year. He's eating chicken. All right, guys, I'm going to fiddle with the uh, stove tonight. So, it's one good thing about it getting, I mean, not good thing, but it gets dark early. One good thing about indoor projects is I can uh, fiddle after dark. pretty sturdy. There's not much to the electrical here, guys. This is where it's cut off. This is where the main power come in, but this is an extension. This goes up to something in here, probably some little relay or junction box. The power comes out here and then splits it off. Energy here, power here, power there. So it's, they're just split in three and the other one's the same way. We're gonna streamline this. this back in there we go now we got our plug on the front wires are hooked up here nice and they're gonna come over here now the clock should work now we just need jumpers to go from here to here and from here to here note to you guys the right way to do this is crimp them with straight things and probably solder them but this is going to be a four watt bulb 40 watt replacement but four watts and this little clock there's no way that can draw point it's 2.5 watts no power going through here so let's plug this in <laughs> i can hear this running and see it running there's no way I'm gonna be able to leave that running. Cause I'm gonna be able to hear that at night. <laughs> Let's see if this light works. Oh. All right, we'll see if it's just the bulb. It 
bulb is pretty... I don't see the filament, but... Guess what I bought when I was in town. I remembered this, but I forgot shims. Fifty fifty chance. Wow! There we go. Look at that fanciness. No way I'm gonna be able to leave that running. You can hear that like crazy, can't you? I know you can with the GoPro because every little sound travels a hundred yards. All right, there you go, guys. Tomorrow we will hook up the propane. Oh. Tomorrow we'll hook up the propane, we'll drill a hole through the floor, run it out, or run it in, and then uh, we're gonna try to get the countertop on. It's just gonna sit on there because I still need to get the plane. I'm gonna show you that in a different video probably. This is this, and then I'll show you the countertop and other stuff in the next video probably, so. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. We got the kitchen cabinets all installed, screwed to the wall, screwed to each other and level and everything. And uh, we got the propane stove. Uh, we got the burners cleaned, the electrical on the back hooked up, and tomorrow I'm going to do the propane. That's it for the night. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Uh, we will see you in the morning or next video. All right. <laughs>